Hey guys, in this video, we will be making a command line interface for our application using something called doc opt. Now doc opt is a really cool uh, command line interface maker, which uh, it actually parses the doc string, which you've defined for your application and it parses that and it understands the inherent properties and it returns you the arguments which were entered by the user. Now, I know that doesn't really make sense when I talk about it, but you will see how effective and easy to use this thing is once we write some code and see it in action. So the first thing we want to do to use this thing is we have to define something called as a usage string. So this is just a string which uh, it defines the in, uh, intended use of our command line application. So in my case, um, this particular file is called spentdriver.py. Uh, because we're making an expense tracker uh, whose API we wrote in, in another video. So you can go and watch that if you want to. But keeping things short and simple, we just define a set of intended usage properties of our application. So in this case, our application can be called in three possible ways. So we can say spendriver.py in it, which would initialize the application. Or we can also say spendriver.py view and then an optional view category. Now, if you have a optional parameter to be given in your application, then you can specify that inside square brackets. So in my case, uh, this view function takes in a optional view category. And third way in which we can call our application is by saying spendriver.py and then an argument amount and then an argument category and then an optional argument for message. So say you've incurred an expenditure of amount of 120 on the category food and then an optional message saying or describing in detail where and what you spent it on. So this would be an optional parameter and these two would be uh, your positional arguments. So let's see this code in action. So first we just import uh, doc opt and then we'd say doc opt of usage, which is our usage string. And then we just print the arguments and you'll see how great this thing is. So I'm going to go to my terminal and then I'm going to call spent driver dot py. Now, since I did not specify any arguments, it returns me the usage so I can look at it and you know, it can be useful uh, when I want to call this application again. So now I can see the usage string and I, I can see what is the intended usage. So I can now say Python spent driver dot py. And then I can also specify a command like init. Now, when I say that it returns me this dictionary. So it can, it shows me that the init property is true. That means it's activated and everything else is false. So my view is false. My view category is none, my message is none, my category is none, and my amount is also none. Let's try something else. Let's try doing, I spent 120 on food. In this case, it would say that amount is actually 120. Category is food, message is none, view category is none, in it is false and view is false. Pretty neat, huh? Now we can also say something like view and then say transport. So it'll say that amount is none, category is none, message is none, but the view category is transport because view is true. So now using this return dictionary, we can actually, you know, uh, design our entire CLI based on the return value from our doc opt function. So instead of printing uh, those things, we can now write a very simple wrapper function to use our expense tracker API, which we wrote in the previous video. So keeping things really simple. So if args of init, so if that is true, then we would just want to call the init function from our expense tracker. So for that, we can do from spent import start. So I'm going to import all my functions from my uh, spent API, which we have defined over here. And then if the init argument is specified in the command line, I will simply call the init function. Otherwise, if args of view is specified, I will say category 
is equal to args of view category. So I will get the view category as well. And then I will simply call the view function from our API. So I can simply say view of category. And this would take care of everything else. Since this returns us a, uh, a bunch of stuff, so we can also say amount comma results is equal to view category. And then let's print that out as well. Print the amount and then print the results as well. Now, if otherwise, if args of amount is specified, let's give some space over there. If args of amount is specified, first I would check if that argument is in fact a number, right? So we want to typecast that to a number because it comes in as a string. So I will do try uh, amount is equal to int or maybe float of float of args of amount. So I'm going to try to convert that to a float. If it happens, then I can simply call log with that amount and the category, I would simply refer it back from the arguments dictionary as category. And then I will also specify args of message. Otherwise, if there's any error in converting that to a float number, then we can just print an exception and we will just print the uh, usage string so that the user can know that he's not, you know, he shouldn't specify a string there. And yeah, that should be it. And we can also probably print user profile created. I forgot to add these uh, brackets over here. So yeah, after adding that, now let's try to run spent driver.py. So let's do an init. So user profile created. And now let's try to log an expense. So I spent 150 for food uh, and I can just say a uh, restaurant or something. And then it, hopefully it logged that information in. So now let's also try to say spend a hundred on uh, entertainment. And let's not give any uh, additional message entertainment. Yeah. And it logged that as well. Let's also do another one, say spent 50 on food again. And uh, this time it is takeaway or something. And now let's try to view something. So I'm going to view all of the expenditures we have right now. So the entire expenditure is a 420 because when you add that up, you get 420 because uh, we already had a 120 for transport when we were initially testing out the API functionality. So it's good to know that this thing works. And uh, let's also try to say spent driver view on food. So on food alone, I spent 200 rupees or 200 of whatever currency you're using. And then it returns me a list of all those expenditures which I've made on food. So that's pretty handy, right? So our app is almost complete. Uh, the one thing which I wanted to add was when we print the results, they are actually in a very uh, unhuman readable format. So for that, there's this great library called tabulate. So I'm gonna just install that using pip. So I'll say pip install tabulate. And when that finishes installing, we can use that in our code 
by importing it. So I'll say from tabulate import tabulate and then instead of printing the results just like that I will say tabulate of results and let's keep that Python 3 friendly and here I will say total expense uh, with that amount. Cool. So let's now see how the tabulated content looks like. So I'm going to go over here and spent view. And now we can see that total expense is 420 coincidental number. And uh, the tabulated content is so. So we have 120, 150, 150 and on, you know, you can see the layout there. It's pretty neat to look at. So yeah, that completes our uh, command line interface and there is just a teeny tiny thing which we can again do to further improve this and that is to package uh, this application. So after we package this application you can distribute this expense tracker to anyone you know and they do not need to have python installed they can just use it right out of the box and it would look something like this. So to learn how you can package your application, please click on this video and uh, thank you for watching.